I will be taking a break from the on-camera presentation for the last day of September, Wednesday, September 30th, as the segment is being recorded at 11.30 on Tuesday, September the 29th. Also, Ontario residents will be observing the first annual Indigenous Day, hence the orange t-shirts. I believe that many workplaces, schools, offices, and just the outdoor general public are encouraged to wear orange t-shirts to recognize this very important new day that we'll be celebrating every year. What we looked at for today for your Tuesday, September 29th was cloudy skies with light to moderate rain by morning, clear breaks with convective showers by afternoon, a mix of temperatures between 12 and 16 degrees, seasonally warm of course, and if I'm not on camera, you can find me on Facebook. It's Timmins Area Web Weather with text updates there. I also have text updates available on Twitter, non -Rater YTS. And I do appreciate one fan of mine from Vancouver has been giving me some compliments on YouTube, which is Weather Now Tim. And so thank you for all the feedback, folks. Looking at a satellite picture from the last 12 hours for this Tuesday, September the 29th, winding the party low pressure system, forming a classic comma shape as we have our defined trough frontal boundary that's coasting up the U.S. northeastern seaboard of the United States. This morning, low overcast ceiling broken to overcast at 3,000 feet. By the afternoon, as the cloud cover tries to break up into pieces across our region, the ceiling picks up to about 10,000 feet. We do have cooler air coming in from the Northwest Territories, depositing that into Northwest Ontario, who will be seeing some cooler temperatures. The good news is our long-term forecast is showing below seasonal temperatures, but still well above zero, which eliminates the risk of any kind of first snowfall for this year. So that's good. Low pressure system this morning, dragging winds out of the west at 11 kilometers an hour. The low pressure and frontal boundary is sitting right over the Ontario-Quebec border. The barometer, this should read 99.5 kilopascals on the way up. This is correct at 2940 inches of mercury. And as we take a look at the evening position of our low pressure system, it's pretty much outside of Ontario and it's now sitting over northwest Quebec. Trough of low pressure behind it between Moosonee and Hearst, Ontario, which provides a wind gust with daytime heating. West at 20 gusts and a 40 kilometers an hour by mid-afternoon. And the barometer is still rising, showing, though we're getting more rain on Wednesday, balancing of the atmosphere conditions.